And being that it's break time, I wanted to show you guys something. See this? Uh, you see the dipstick for this vehicle here? Looking for the dipstick. The truth is there isn't one. There's no dipstick for this engine. This is the engine, not the transmission, by the way. Today, Shaw Family Videos, you wanna help support automotive content, hit that subscribe button. Crush, smash, torque down the like button. I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, in the shop recently had a pretty dang close to brand new uh, Mercedes Sprinter van. And I did an oil, I did the first oil change on it, odds are. So yeah, it's got this little touch pad. Right. Home button, touch pad. See that? The uh, question occurred to me, when does technology make things, you know, better, easier, faster, cheaper, and when does it hinder? All right, so home, over here to service. Oil. Why, right, do they come up with some of these things? No dipstick for engine oil? Are we trying to fix what ain't broke? Or are we getting ready for, you know, unmanned vehicles, robot vehicles, autonomous vehicles, being able to know exactly how much oil is in them? We have sending units that tell us oil pressure and things like that that's been around for a long time but so yeah first you got to go in to the system and you know locate where the dipstick is and you have to wait for the car to warm up which is really inefficient when it comes to doing oil changes you sit there let it sit on the rack for 10 15 minutes before you can check the oil level you know to see how much oil's in it we always do that every time we do an oil change. You know, no matter what the paperwork says, uh, it's not always correct. And so we want to make sure that the customer is getting a full engine full of oil. We want it right up to the top. But with these vehicles, that's getting increasingly harder. Oil fill level. There it is after it's warmed up. Nice. For those of us who need to do maintenance on said vehicles, it would be a lot easier if you could give us a dipstick to check the oil so that we're not waiting 15 minutes every time we do an oil change just to find out the oil level of the vehicle, you know, while it's warming up. Because that's crazy. Uh. <laughs> this vehicle had no dipstick. Now, I've seen this before. There's some of the, the newer Audis. Uh, don't have a dipstick. I did an oil change in an Audi and in no dipstick. Talked to a guy who came in and had some work done on his uh, 2014, but he had installed an aftermarket dipstick in his 2014 Audi. Um, I'm talking about the engine here, all right? This isn't the transmission. I mean, we've been doing away with dipsticks in transmissions for a while because of the uh, you know, the whole controversy around, do you really need to change your transmission fluid? But I'm not here to talk about transmissions. I'm here to talk about engines and our, you know, heavily relying on technology to tell us things like how much oil is in the engine. And yeah, if you can do it in an efficient, accurate way, I don't have a problem with that. But when it's not accurate and when you're questioning the efficiency, you know, people need to go back to the drawing board. So yeah, Daimler Chrysler, you know, how does that make sense? That we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to check the fluid level, you know, doing maintenance on these vehicles when you could have easily just put in a dipstick, you know? Let's, why are we making things so complicated? What do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around!